Good morning, everybody. Good day, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope it's a good day. Um, I hope you're all staying safe and well and uh, enjoying your confinement. <laughs> Being that we're all in house arrest, it's hard to get out for some of us um, to do some exploring. So I thought I would uh, talk to you about some things here in Nevada and uh, talk about some UFO sightings. And I want to start out with our extraterrestrial highway. It's in right in the heart of Nevada. It's Route 375, and it goes north-south through Nevada from Las Vegas up to Reno. Um, <clears throat> it's surrounded by miles and miles of undeveloped desert. And uh, there's a uh, mystery along this highway. A lot of people have... <clears throat> excuse me, made sightings of what they think are unidentified aircraft. And occasionally you get someone who claims they've had an encounter. Um, you know, I, anything is possible. Um, and it involves the alleged home of, you know, Area 51. Is, it involves the alleged home of recovered alien spaceships. ET technology, and maybe even a few little green men on the federal payroll. Um, that's, that's what's been said by a lot of people. Um, nobody's able to prove it, of course. And they, I, even if it's true, you're not going to prove it, anything, because the government won't let you do that. I mean, people wonder why the government, government won't just be forthright about alien visitation, or if there has been, or, you know, we know that there have been ships recovered. I mean, you can't hide everything. We know there have been, but they're not going to talk about it because look how crazy people have gotten over a virus. Can you imagine what would happen if the government told us everything they know? I mean, people are, I just don't think the general public is ready for that kind of information. Some of us are, yes. Some of us would handle it well. But look what's going on. I mean, seriously. Look look at the people, how they're reacting. Um, I just don't think they could handle something that important. But anyway, back to my what I'm talking about. This highway runs adjacent to the Nevada Test Range, which includes Area 51, a part of the base that is so secret that the U.S. government didn't acknowledge its existence until 2013. Hundreds of strange UFO sightings in the area have been reported. I mean, probably more than hundreds, like thousands. And here's a couple of pictures for you. As a part of an active military base, um, it is patrolled and guarded by some of the heaviest security on Earth or anywhere else. This area is not a tourist attraction. If you drive past this area, be sure to obey all the posted signs and don't even think about trespassing. Um, they're quite serious about their security and they will use force if you push it, so don't. Just a warning to anybody who visits or people who live here know that. Um, you know, there's still a few people who are arrogant enough to push the limit, but in this case, they have every right and they will um, do what they deem necessary to keep you out, so don't do it. The selfie is not worth it. Uh, so you will be caught and prosecuted, and uh, there, there's no selfie you could take that would be worth that risk. And here's a few pictures.
Now, I want to say I haven't taken these pictures myself. These are what I found in archive files um, and on the internet and doing your research. Um, I have been by these places in person, uh, but that was several years ago, and I would like to go back there again as soon as all this insanity calms down a little bit. So you may be seeing some of these in my future videos, but uh, for right now, these are not my pictures. I just want to say that. Um, so I just wanted to add them in to kind of give you a little more interest in what I'm talking about. Uh, some of the notable sites along this highway are, number one, the extraterrestrial highway signs. Number two, the infamous black box, mailbox. On Highway 35, there's a white mailbox. It's actually two mailboxes, uh, one on top of the other. The top one is labeled Steve Medlin. The bottom one is labeled Alien, and I'll tell you why. Steve Medlin is a real person. He's a rancher. He moved to a cattle ranch in 1973 that's located in Tickaboo Valley, which is right close to the highway there. And that was 16 years before uh, Bob Lazar appeared on television claiming that the Air Force, um, the Air Force base near the ranch, uh, which would be Area 51, was hiding alien spacecraft that craft, crashed in the desert. If you're not familiar with Bob Lazar, you can look him up, look him up on the internet. Um, some people totally believe what he said. Uh, a lot of people don't. I mean, it's kind of questionable. You have to look him up, listen to what he has to say, and you decide for yourself. Uh, Lazar said that he worked at Area 51 as a scientist and an engineer in 1989. Um, he's never been able to prove anything that he has said. Um, but he did ignite a frenzy among UFO hunters who continued to visit this remote part of Nevada, hoping to spot alien crafts. This is where the mailbox come in. They are the only landmark for 40 miles along Highway 375 and provide a handy meeting spot for UFO enthusiasts coming uh, to the area to scan the skies at night looking for UFOs. <clears throat> Originally, there was only one mailbox. Uh, it was Mr. Medlin's mailbox. And it was black. Following Lazar's claims, people began to fill his mailbox. It was his personal mailbox with messages to aliens. I mean, seriously. <laughs> this poor man. The mailbox was even stolen once with the belief that it contained clues about Area 51. Unbelievable. Someone even shot it, shot holes in it once. And this is this guy's personal mailbox. Medlin swapped his mailbox out for a white bulletproof version and added the alien mailbox below his mailbox so people could leave their messages to their alien friends in the mailbox below his and leave his mailbox alone. The boxes are located 12 miles from Area 51 and is still known as the Black Mailbox. Here's a picture. The third place to stop and look at is called the E.T. Fresh Jerky. Uh, it's an uncanny restaurant uh, and rest area offering samples of all the alien jerky Nevada has to offer. And aside from jerky, they also offer a wide range of souvenirs. They also offer a selection of beverages, including Martian poop <laughs> flavored soda. You know, it's probably just a lime soda, but just the name, I wouldn't want to drink it. <laughs> That's ugly. 
Uh, they had candy, dried fruits, nuts, and gourmet olives. Best of all, the life-sized alien murals make for some memorable photos to take home. <laughs> Here's some pictures. Your next stop, number four, should be the Alien Research Center. Stop in here for the latest in alien apparel, hats, mugs, and magnets. And you can book tours that will drive you around the area. Now, there's actually an Area 51 bus tour that you can take. Um, not too awful long ago, you probably heard about it in the news. Uh, this one of the bus drivers on the tour took some tourists out to, you, they take you right to the border of Area 51. Well, he inadvertently went through, off one of the back roads, went across the border into Area 51. Um, he was immediately met with uh, the camo dudes, they call them, in the white pickup trucks that, you know, guard the fence line. And they were all arrested, and I guess scared them to death. It would me. Um, and the, uh, they were all given tickets, and they were given court dates to see if they were going to be incarcerated. Uh, and uh, fortunately, it turned out that they they worked a deal with, I mean, it was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. He wasn't trying to get into Area 51. Was, he wasn't paying attention, and... Um, the whole area is not fenced. There's a lot of open land. So, but there are signs like all over the place. And he was on a back dirt road, wasn't paying attention, and, and crossed into Area 51. And so he was fired from his job. Uh, the tourists were all allowed to go home without any repercussion um, because they did determine it was an accident. And... Uh, but the bus driver did receive some punishment. So that was, and the uh, tour company agreed to pay all of the tourists fines that they received. So uh, you got to be careful because these people are serious. I mean, even if you do go across their border accidentally, um, they will still get you and they're They're quite serious about it. And here's some pictures. Okay, and your last stop along the highway would be the Little Ailey Inn. This inn is located in Rachel, Nevada, along Highway 375, which um, has been called the Gateway to Area 51. It was founded in 1973 by a local alfalfa farmer. The producers of the movie Independence Day uh, filmed some scenes in Rachel, and they gave the town a time capsule, which is installed near the inn. And I'm not sure whether they're going to open this time capsule, but it would be interesting to see what the movie makers put in it. Um, other movies filmed near and around in Rachel were Louis Thoreau's Weird Weekends, the X-Files episode entitled Dreamland, and the computer game Black Sight Area 51 is based on this area. This was also the main gathering site for the storm Area 51, which we all heard about, which was ridiculous. And uh, it turned out to be pretty uneventful, actually, uh, in 2019. Last, I think it was September 2019. But here's some pictures of the end.
Well, that's my little UFO thing for today. Um, I will be making a little more of these kind of videos. Hopefully I will get out in a, uh, a day or two to get some local area things as soon as the weather stops. We've had like really horrendous wind and we've had some rain and it's just really nasty out right now. But um, hopefully in a few days, if it clears up, I can get out and um, there's a ghost town that I think I might be able to sneak around to get to and um, another place that I want to go film that's close. So uh, we'll see if we can do that. And there's there's nobody around. You know, there's no people out there. At least I don't think so. Um, so I should be okay. I won't. Hopefully I won't run into anybody, uh, especially a highway patrolman, because they, they will give you a citation if you're doing anything other than going to the doctor or grocery shopping. At least they can, they can now if they want to. So hopefully nobody will catch me. So we'll talk to you later. They're not being too picky right now, but it could get bad. So you guys have a safe day. Stay well, stay healthy, and uh, love you guys a lot. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.